Governor Abbott held a ceremonial bill signing today in Fort Worth on new laws that would crack down on street takeovers. He actually signed the bill two months ago. They got into effect next month. Fox's Dion Anglin reports that this statewide approach aims to send a strong message. Disruptive, dangerous, even deadly. The crackdown on illegal street racing and illegal street takeovers is now law. And Stanford. now, with a ceremonial signature on two bills, Governor Abbott is applying statewide pressure to the problem of street racing and stunting. Under these laws, law enforcement now have the authority to seize vehicles and contraband used in the commission of these crimes. The governor in Fort Worth today, along with local officials, to announce the culmination of House Bills 1442 and 2899. Mayor Maddie Parker and Police Chief Neil Noakes applauding the action which adds teeth to current local laws to address what has been a clear problem. In 2020, a Fort Worth couple, Ben and Meg Arbor, was killed as a result of a crash caused by street racers. Sometimes what you see on TV or in social media is maybe sensationalized. You see some young kids um, doing donuts in the middle of the street, and you forget that at the other end of that, oftentimes, lives are lost. Right here in Fort Worth, we, lo we lost a wonderful young couple who had three children. Um, ben and Meg Armour, Arbor were lost right here in Fort Worth, and they were 39 years old. The new laws not only create a statewide policy allowing police to impound suspect vehicles in street takeovers and racing, but also adds tougher spectator crackdowns to include people who post the activity on social media. Come September 1st, if you facilitate, if you cooperate, if you take video of it, if you upload videos of it, you're culpable of a crime come September 1st. And make no mistake about it, the statute of limitations is three years. We got plenty of time to find you, and we will find you. This is a cooperative effort to fight back against the dangerous street racing and dangerous street takeovers by criminals who pose a significant threat to public safety. Chief Noakes points out five recent arrests involving dangerous activity were the result of several agencies working together. Tarrant County Sheriff Bill Wayborn also shared a message. We want to make it perfectly clear that we're coming after you. The light will be on, on at the jailhouse, and regardless of jail overcrowding, we'll always have room for them because they are a clear danger to the community.